What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today will be the unboxing of the Shark Navigator Liftaway Healthy Home Edition. This is model NV351WM2, I think. Uh, I might have gotten that last number wrong, everything else was correct, I'm going based off memory here. It says it on the bottom, but I don't feel like picking it up. So, Shark Navigator Liftaway. This was a Black Friday deal at Walmart, or at least it appeared to be a Black Friday deal since it showed up on Black Friday. And... This initially wasn't at my local Walmart. In fact, it still isn't, even though the website erroneously stated that it was in stock at my local store. So, I bought it online. And then I went to a different Walmart in a bigger city and found exactly one on the shelf. Since the other one hadn't actually shipped yet, I immediately canceled that and bought this one since... I would have it now and not have to wait for it to be shipped. So, I did that, and I have it here. Now, you might be thinking, why did you buy this? Don't you hate sharks? And the answer is actually no. I don't hate sharks. I used to erroneously... Maybe I shouldn't erroneously, because that's an opinion. You can't really have, have a wrong opinion for something as stupid as a vacuum. But... I had some initial judgment, initial prejudice towards Shark for various reasons, and I was not inclined to make a positive review of any Shark vacuum. With this exact model, the NV351, which you can see I have one over there, and you can tell I, I just used it to vacuum, so obviously it's been getting plenty of traffic, yet this particular example is actually new. I've had so many of these used ones that I've fixed up over the years, and I thought it was only fair to try a fresh one, because as I've gotten them in better and better condition, my opinion on these, on these, on this particular model has gotten more and more positive over the years. So I think it's best to redo my review, I think for the third time at this point, and properly judge this based off of a new unit that I freshly purchased, especially because I got it for a really good deal, $99. So hopefully this is this will give Shark the fairest of shakes when it comes to this particular model but again i've i've already pretty much determined that i like this but to actually try a new example and actually try a fresh one can hopefully give me a proper perspective on this exact unit because this is pretty much the default shark vacuum whether you like it or not this is the most popular this is the one that's been selling for the longest and this is the one that pretty much made shark blow up as a company as far as actually being a serious competitor to dyson after phantom went bankrupt so with that out of the way let's go ahead and open this up now it shows that it has the pet power brush which is another reason why i got this because that purple one over there the nv351 is normally fifty dollars more and it's currently fifty dollars more than this one is and yet it includes a mattress tool and an extra long crevice tool this one includes a turbo brush instead now that's obviously a better value because I'm pretty sure the turbo brush is worth more than the other two tools, yet it's 50 bucks cheaper, and also blue. I like blue. But mainly because I've heard a lot of bad things about Shark's older turbo brushes that were basically a rebadge of the Euro Pro and Phantom turbo brushes. So I've been wanting to try this newer turbo brush to see if it works a lot better and if this is a much better tool than they used to be and if Shark is actually improving in that aspect. It also has a five-year warranty, just like the purple version. First, I worried that maybe this would have a shorter warranty. It does not. It has a five-year warranty. That one may still be within warranty, but I'm not quite sure. And uh, I haven't had to do any warranty claims on it, so that's good. This is the only machine that I haven't had to do any sort of warranty claims on, as far as the ones that were really beat up. Although, there was one I got where the little clips were completely busted off, and I pretty much just gave up and chucked that one. But... You know, so Shark definitely has a hit or miss sort of record, but we'll see how this actually goes. Now, an interesting and kind of sketchy thing about this is there's no seal on the top of the box. This was exactly how I found it, and you can tell there's no seal because if there was a seal, there would be some sort of residue somewhere on this box. There is no seal whatsoever. This is just entirely loose. So this pops open, and we can see the little little floofy husky right there. I don't believe the dog is included. And we can see right here, be sure to read the enclosed shark owner's guide prior to using your unit. This is an assembly tutorial, so you don't need that. You just need this video. So we can see what's inside. We have the vacuum pod, the floor nozzle, the extension wand, the handle and hose, accessory holder, the pet power brush, and that's it. Does it not include a brush and a crevice tool? 
and it actually shows instructions here. Wow, okay, so it looks like it only includes the power brush. That's kind of disappointing. I would have expected it to come with the brush and the crevice tool as a baseline, considering the $25 Dirt Devil came with those as well, which was also a Black Friday deal. But I actually do have a spare set of those attachments, and I could also use the ones on the purple ones. So for me, it's not a big deal. But if you're buying this as your sole vacuum and you don't own a previous shark that you can steal attachments from, that could be a potential issue. But they're not all that expensive to get. Still, it is kind of annoying because I would expect those to come with it. So here is the aforementioned accessory holder, which isn't in any sort of plastic. Here is the hose in this lovely bright blue color, which is in the plastic. Here is the owner's manual for the Shark Navigator Liftaway NV350 series. So this has not been updated to show the NV351, although the machines are identical between the NV350, 351, and 352 models. It's weird how the 352 is the newest one, yet I always see the 351 model, including this example. We see 2020 Shark Ninja, so and the packaging also shows 2020. So this is updated. This is not this is not new old stock that Shark is blowing out in collaboration with Walmart. These are new units that are newly being produced, or at the very least the packaging is being newly produced. Right up in front and center, we can see the floor head. They don't use the horrible styrofoam that Dirt Devil used, but this is an actual nice reusable cardboard. So here is the floor nozzle. Another thing that's cool about these, um, which is probably obvious, is that if you have them in multiple colors, you can swap the parts and build ones that are your own favorite color combo. Although that would require you to purchase multiple machines or multiple parts, so most people aren't going to do that. But maybe some collectors are crazy with that. It'd be interesting to see some cool combinations if you, if you happen to have multiple colors of this exact machine. So there's the floor head with the obvious warning saying not to put it on a baby's head. In case COVID wasn't enough of a worry already for your kids, this wand does not want to come out. It clearly wants to stay in its home, but we don't care. There it is. See, it's kind of fished through the cardboard. It is very blue. It's, it's much bluer than the Dirt Devil. The Dirt Devil is a lot more of a greenish color. This is like a metallic blue. In fact, it's like Walmart blue. It's actually not as light of a blue as it shows on the box. The box shows it as like a baby blue color. This is a lot darker and a richer of a blue. I'm really annoyed that it's 2020 and manufacturers, because Shark's not the only one. Dirt Devil just did this too, and Bissell to a lesser extent. I don't understand why it is that we can't get graphics on boxes right when Photoshop is a thing, and we obviously have like high graphics departments, and yet we can't well, maybe the graphics departments are high. That's probably why this color's wrong. But, yeah, it's weird how they can't get that color right. So, again, like I had to say in the Dirt Devil video, be warned. Because if you want this to be a light baby blue, that's not what you're getting here. So, if you're expecting that, you may be a little bit disappointed. But, I knew going into it that, obviously, it's Walmart. So, it's going to be the same It's going to be the same deep blue that, you know, Walmart's color scheme is. Because it has WM in the model number, so it's obviously the Walmart specific version. And then right at the bottom, which I could hear this rattling around, is the turbo brush with no sort of protective plastic over it. It does, oh, and it's covered in scratches too, which is really annoying considering this is brand new, or it's at least supposed to be. So that's, that is frustrating how there's no protective plastic on that. Although that only frustrates collectors. Any normal consumer is not gonna care because well, they're going to actually use it. And let's be honest, every consumer that buys this is going to lose that turbo brush at some point. So that's everything in the box. So we can put all the cardboard back. And since I am going to be selling that purple one, this will all fit in there perfectly. So we have the user's manual. Be sure to read this very carefully. And we have the floor head, which we'll start with first. Again, this is... Very simple to put together, but I'll still show you how to do it anyways. So, we'll just go ahead and pull this apart. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That just slides right off. Very easy. 
Another thing I've noticed is that even though this is obviously just the blue variant of the purple one, it's not that simple. It's, it's not as simple as all the purple parts are now blue because there are some parts that are actually colored and uncolored or at least, you know, grayed out to the neutral tone when compared to the purple unit. Like on this, the hose is no longer gray. It is color coordinated and the actual thing, the actual connector is black instead of this just being all gray as an example. And we can see this bottom is like a lighter silver. Ooh, I like this. And the actual brush roll is black, not the gray that was shown on the promotional or on the box. So that's actually a black brush roll. So again, colors do differ from the actual box, which is kind of interesting and really odd. But this bag is not sealed. This is the main vacuum body. If your actual machine goes dead, this is the part that will be replaced. And we can see, like how I mentioned earlier, this isn't gray anymore. This is now blue instead of purple. And instead of this being color coordinated purple, this is now grayed out to neutral. Which doesn't look as nice, but I would imagine for your average consumer that'd be a lot more functional because they actually can tell this is a separate piece that would likely need to be removed. And here, and then now these, these aren't purple, these are grayed out. What does that filter look like? I can get this off, which I apparently can't. Okay, whatever. We'll look at that later. It's supposed to be a tutorial. So, here's how you attach this. Very difficult. But, you gotta make sure that clicks into place. There you go, heard that click. Saw that go flush, that's how you know this is attached. And then now, we take the wand, and we see this part where the extension wand thing is, and the upper cord hook is up here. So this, the accessory holder, pin, and the upper cord hook goes up. So this will go in like this, with this red button, at least according to this color, this red button facing down, until and push it down until it clicks into place, and you press this red button to release the extension wand. And... Now we take the accessory holder, and we can see the little notch right there. That goes on the notch on the handle just like this. So you just slide it over, clip it into place. It does wiggle a little bit. I don't know why that is, but it does. Oh, I see. So you turn it like this so it locks it into place so it doesn't fall off easy. So once you put it on, you twist it to the left just a little bit, and that locks into place. And finally... You take your hose slash handle and figure out a way to get this out of the bag by pulling this off. It's not taped shut, but it is together. And again, on the purple one, this little neck piece is grayed out. On here, it's actually color-coded. So I guess it is kind of nice how Shark did put that extra little bit of effort into it instead of just changing the main accent colors they actually did switch around some of the color palettes a little bit you can see again this is black and this slides in like this with these little tabs lining up and you see these little notches these clip in right here and you want to make sure they clip in on either side hear that little snap and on the other side hear that little snap just like that and then finally we take this hose pull it up like this and with the handle facing forward, we line this up. So this little button lines up, and we snap it into place. There we go. So it's a lot tighter to fit than my purple one, although the purple one, the handle is an aftermarket replacement, so that could explain that. So again, you want these buttons to line up, so it's easy to tell which orientation they're in. And this handle does, this hose does sit loosely like this. On the upgraded 0M model, there's a little clip back here that you can attach the hose to. This one does not have that, unfortunately, so over time this hose will likely fall over. But that is that. And then we take this, well, first we take this little turbo brush, since, again, this is the only attachment that it has. And I believe we can attach this to the bottom like this. Or we could probably attach it on top. It looks like, well, that attaching it to the bottom like this does kind of work. But 
they clearly want you to attach it up here. Well, that's weird because they show it attaching like this, but it doesn't fit that way. Maybe if you turn it the other orientation. There we go. So they want you to put it up like that. That doesn't exactly look, look right. You can tell why they don't show it like that on the box because they know how ridiculous that looks. But whatever. So we actually have two twist ties with this. Most vacuum companies only give us one. How generous of Sharp. So we got the same little core protector that a lot of these have. So we're just going to undo these twist ties real quick. Once you're wrapping the cable around both the upper and lower cord hook, you're finally able to affix the end of the plug to the cable, and now the cord is on properly. Now the bottom cord hook is affixed, you cannot move it, but the top cord hook does in fact swivel, so if you want to quickly release the cord, you may do so. Both this one and the purple variant, NV351, have 25 foot cords, so not incredibly long cords, but still decent length for, I guess, most smaller homes. Obviously, this is a little bit more of a compact machine. Uh, you're mostly paying for the lift-away features and the fact that you're getting a motorized brush roll with a brush roll shutoff for this cheap of a price. And we can see right here, the little lift-away ad right there. It doesn't say the complete seal technology like a lot of the purple ones have a little thing right here. It just has it all on the bin. So... That is the unboxing of the Shark Navigator Liftaway NV351WM. So that was the unboxing and assembly tutorial of the Shark Navigator Liftaway Healthy Home Edition, even though it's identical to the purple one. It has the same sealed system as the standard NV351 that you can get pretty much everywhere else. So if you can find one of these for $99, also Best Buy had the deluxe one for $99 as well, but I couldn't seem to find that one in stock. But if you can find either of those, those are really good deals for the price. And yeah, a lot of stores will have the higher end versions on sale for a lot more money. But as far as the fundamentals, this really can't be beat for $99. Yes, while something like even Abyssal will clean a little bit better on carpets, this will tend to do a lot better in the fact that it can get into tight spaces, and it's sealed, and it does better on floors, and has a lift-away function, yada, 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 you get the point. So, I mean, it's, considering it's so cheap, if you have the money, I would say just get both. Just get one of these, and get Abyssal, and use this for to have good filtration, and get an air purifier or something, but... This is supposed to be just the unboxing video and not the review, but I guess extra information. So anyway guys, this is Inteltech Studio signing out with the unboxing and assembly tutorial of the Shark Navigator Liftaway NV351WM2. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.